If your performance has gone astray, help is on the way. Our driveway rescue tackles the sluggish F-150. Plus, up the power and mileage on your diesel. That and more, right now on Truck Tech. Every now and then, it just feels right to volunteer your skills to someone in need of help. And we're talking about driveway rescue. Recently, we tricked out our Nissan NV van with a whole bunch of tools. And ever since then, you guys have been bombarding our website with your submission of a car or truck that needs some help. Case in point, Chris Lee from Bellevue, Tennessee, and his work truck that has been parked for months. Cool. Hello, this is Christopher Lee. This is my 2004 Ford F-150. Bought it a couple years ago for my custom crating company. Drove it around for a while, it started to run a little rough, so took it to a mechanic. He suggested that it needs some spark plugs replaced. Apparently this requires an extraction tool because it'll break off in there and I'm uh, not looking to have a bigger problem than it already is. So it's been sitting for a little while. I'm hoping we can get some help and get this baby back on the road soon. So we called him up. Chris explained the issues he was having, and we immediately went on to rockauto.com and ordered some tune-up parts along with a special tool to get the job done. Hey, man, what's up? How much, Jeremy? LT, how y'all doing? Good morning. Hey, nice Chris, place, how are you? Man. So, I hear you get a truck that needs a little bit of help, huh? Absolutely. I uh, believe it's the spark plugs that kind of need to get replaced. Uh, okay. Looking to Maybe we have that extraction tool, we can get that out. So it's been sitting for a little while, but yeah. we can get it back on the road. Yeah, well, we brought some stuff with us. Why don't we check it out? Let's maybe, do that. Maybe we can see all if right. we can help you. Absolutely. Cool, man. All right, fellas, so here she is in all her glory. Cool. Well, we saw your application video. Sounds like it's running a little bit rough, maybe misfiring. Yes, sir. Well, see what we're working with here. Oh, yeah. yeah. 543 valve. You said it sounds like it runs a little bit rough, maybe kind of misfires? Absolutely. Well, uh, you got the keys. Can I start up in here? Yeah. Hold on. There you go. Right. Thanks. Oh, yeah. She's jumping. Yeah. I'll tell you what, uh, I'll go grab the van and see what we can do. Let's do this. Take care of it. So the Ford 3 valve V8s have a very bad reputation for breaking off spark plugs in the cylinder head when you go to replace them. Now, the problem actually is due to the design of the extended tip. Ford actually made these in two pieces, which was not a great idea, as it turns out. During normal operation, carbon and soot builds up between the tip of the spark plug and the cylinder head, forming a tight bond. So when you try and loosen the plug, the nut and top section of the porcelain can break off. Now there are a few tricks that we're gonna try to get these spark plugs out in one piece without breaking anything at all. Now the truck does have some higher miles on it, so there is a chance they've already been replaced and updated, so they might just come out with no problems at all. But if not, if they're the original plugs, we can prepare it with all the right tools. So to give this F-150 a tune-up, we went on to rockauto.com and grabbed a few basic tune-up parts, which should help to get this truck running a little better and get even better fuel mileage. We'll start by replacing the spark plugs. Instead of using new original style two-piece plugs, we'll be using an updated one-piece version. This will eliminate any failure problems in the future. Not only that, these are double platinum, so they'll have a very long service life. While we're at it, we'll also go through the rest of the ignition system. We'll replace the coil assemblies, which have new boots and internal connector wires. Then, to top it all off, we'll replace the O2 sensors in the exhaust. These help the engine monitor air-fuel ratio and make changes for optimal performance. And then, just in case we have any trouble getting those old plugs out, we also picked up an extractor tool. The process starts by removing the eight coil packs one by one to gain access to the plugs. I haven't found one yet that's super cracked, but these are definitely, they've been in there for some time. All right, so how we go about getting these plugs on taking off? All right, so these are actually kind of cool. There's a little tab here. Basically, you just push it down. And you kind of Cylinders three and four are hard to get to. So we'll have Chris remove the computer from the firewall. Now the next thing for us to do is to remove those spark plugs, but we've told you how notorious the 5.43 valves are for breaking the plugs. But there are a couple of things you can try to do to help prevent that ahead of time. One is you can add a fuel additive to your tank, 
run it through, and then it may clean up some of that carbon and help to release those spark plugs. Another thing you can try is you can start the engine up, let it run for a few minutes where it gets just a little bit warm, and that can also help release the plugs. But I'm going to show you how we're going to do it. Next, if the plug breaks off, there's a tool for that. We're back on Truck Tech in the middle of a driveway rescue where we're helping out Chris with his F-150. He's owned it for three years when the 5.43 valve engine started giving him problems. The mechanic told me that I uh, needed to have the spark plugs replaced and uh, the price was a little bit too much from what I wanted to do. Normally I would do the tune-up myself, but I just didn't feel comfortable risking the chance of breaking the spark plug. So, with his 18-month-old son Jackson supervising from his baby Bentley, we're well on our way to getting both boys back on the road. He loves riding with Daddy. He always talks about Daddy's truck, so for him to be able to climb up in it and go anywhere they want to go is going to be really nice. I'll start by cracking the plug loose and go less than half a turn. Then I'll use some penetrating oil, shoot it down the hole, and let it soak for a half hour. The oil should creep down and loosen the carbon, making it easier to remove the plugs without breaking them. Wow, that is the true sign of a misfire. That plug is bad. Nasty. We're having pretty good luck. The plugs are all coming out, and we can tell they have been replaced at some point. The good news is they didn't break apart in the cylinder. That one actually looks pretty good. This side so far is not too bad. This truck means the world to him. It has been sitting under that shed for six months, and I know he is ecstatic to get it done today. Yeah, that one probably had a bit of a misfire too. She's, she's rough, but hey, at least they all came out. Get some new plugs. So the new plugs install easier and won't get stuck for the next tune-up. Chris will apply some anti-seize to the threads and tip of each plug. Right on, man, thanks. You have several choices when you order from rockauto.com. We chose the OEM replacement for the ignition coils and premium champion plugs for Spark. But they have many brand options for a wide range of budgets. Now we were lucky enough that all our spark plugs came out in one piece. So while Chris goes ahead and puts the computer back in the truck, I went ahead and I cut some plugs apart to show you how the extraction tool works. Now typically when the plugs break off, you'll be left with a small piece like this inside the cylinder head, the small tip that's filled with porcelain. So the first step is to use this part of the tool called the porcelain pusher. It threads into the spark plug and you crank down on this part, which will actually force the porcelain farther into the tip of the spark plug, leaving a hollowed out spot. Then you'll come back with this extraction tool and actually thread it into the tip of the spark plug. Then you back off this nut and it'll actually pull the tip straight from the cylinder head. To complete the tune-up, we're going to replace the two primary O2 sensors located just below the exhaust manifold. Here we go. Cross your fingers. Let's see. Oh, that sounded like that could have cut a knuckle off. It could have. One thing you definitely want to do when you do that is don't grip it like that. <laughs> Keep your, Keep your fingers open and push with your palm, and that'll save you from busting your knuckles. All right, you guys ready to fire it up? Start her up, man. Let's hear it. Man, look at that. Smooth as silk. Sounds very good. Sounds very good. You know what? It's just a good afternoon's worth of work. Couple new plugs, couple new coils, O2 sensors, man. Running perfect again. Absolutely. Time to get some miles on it, right? Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> Rev it up, Bumpus. Let's hear it. Horse. Better now. Jeremy LT, it sounds wonderful, man. I appreciate everything y'all did. Yeah, man. Absolutely. It's our pleasure. Hey, man. So glad we could help you out. Hope you guys enjoy the truck. Use it, man. Have fun. Oh, we will. Can't wait to get it back on the road. Yeah. And if you guys at home have a project that you're stuck on and you want our help, be sure to go to PowerNationTV.com and sign up for Driveway Rescue. <laughs>